Hello, Influence University and Persuasion Tool number five, which is a combination of influence, negotiation, and selling. You need this for every aspect of those. So let me ask you this question. Do you know that annoying person that rubs you the wrong way? You know that person that nobody really likes? You know that person that thinks they're funny, but they're not? That could be you. I don't know if you want me to sugarcoat it or not, but hello, we need to talk about people skills. Can you get that winning acceptance? Do people instantly like you? I know it's easy to get along with people that are like you. I'm talking about every personality. Understand that the ability to connect and work well with people tops the list for common skills and habits of highly successful people. Studies show that 91% of people said people skills are important in business. You already know that success in life depends on your people skills and the ability to get others to like you. You know that, but you're not as good as you think. Let's talk about the studies. First of all, self-perception bias here. 90% of people rate their people skills above average. If you've ever studied statistics, A, impossible. And you've met enough people to know that there's no way that's possible. But people think they have that skill, and they don't. Studies also show that as much as 85% of your success in life depends on your people skills and the ability to get others to like you. In fact, the Carnegie, or Carnegie, depending on what part of the country you're from, Institute of Technology found that only 15% of employment and management success is due to technical training or intelligence, while the other 85% is due to personality factors or the ability to deal with people successfully. That's even higher in sales and higher if you're an entrepreneur. A Harvard study also found that every person who lost their job for failure to do work Two people lost their jobs for failure to deal successfully with people. Meaning two-thirds of the people that have lost their jobs, it's because their inability to work with people. And of course, they weren't told that. They were saying, oh, downsizing, wish you could stay. But think about it. If you were the boss and had to fire a couple of people, everything being equal, you fire the people you don't like. So let's talk a little application. How do you connect? What are the basics here? And these are all things we can all work on. Number one, show concern. You see, showing concern means exhibiting genuine friendliness and goodwill for the other person's best interest. It means acting with consideration and politeness. It is the foundation for all interaction and it creates mood of concern in return. What's the next one? Be positive. Be optimistic. People want to be around those who are positive. Focus on the positive. Be optimistic. Bring hope to your audience. Optimistic messages bring out the best in people and create a positive image about you and your position. And please remember names. It's not a function of memory, it's a function of listening. Because one of the quickest ways to form an immediate bond with people is by remembering their names. Try to use your prospect's name within the first 10 seconds of the conversation. Using their name tells your audience that you care and value them as a person. Research also shows that it increases your persuasiveness. Next, pretty simple, a smile. How much does it cost? Get the calculator. Mm, it's free. A smile helps make a great first impression and demonstrates happiness, acceptance, and confidence. Your smile shows that you're pleased to be right where you are meeting this person. As a result, your audience in turn becomes more interested in meeting you. Next, build respect. The more your audience respects you, the more persuasive you'll be. Building respect often takes time, but there are things you can do right now to facilitate it. Remember that how someone feels about you is often influenced by how you make them feel about themselves. Simple, basic, but I guarantee you can work on each one of these. You can be better in each one of these. You can learn to adapt to different personalities. When you can connect with people, I'm telling you right now, the doors of influence swing right open and people will want to be persuaded by you.